Now let us solve a numerical on unsteady state flow. Right. We already see the steady flow energy equations, unsteady state flow energy equations and how to solve the equations. We already know that. Now let us take one example. This is a numerical. The numerical says, first I read out the numerical that an insulated storage tank that is initially evacuated is connected to a supply pipeline carrying a fluid at some specific internal energy ui and specific enthalpy hi right ui and hi are the internal energy and enthalpy of a fluid which is carrying in the pipeline now the valve is opened and fluid starts flowing in the tank and finally it reaches the pressure in the tank as that of the pipeline right we have to show that the final internal energy or the final specific internal energy of a tank is equal to hi hi is the specific enthalpy of the fluid which is flowing through the pipeline so this is a numerical we have to solve right so again we mark some important points in the question right just see the approach how to approach for a numerical we are taking important important points what we got from here the first important point is the tank is a insulated tank right i am underlining the important points first is the tank is a insulated storage tank if the tank is insulated then we know that insulation means there is no heat transfer right first hint which is in the question is there is no heat transfer an insulated storage tank that is initially evacuated initially evacuated second hint is your initially evacuated means initially there is no mass in the control volume in the tank Suppose this is a tank, if we see the here, suppose this is a tank which or you can say storage tank and this is a pipeline. This is a pipeline, fluid is flowing in this with some in specific internal energy UI, specific enthalpy HI. It is given that. In the question it is given UI and HI. Right. There is a valve connecting this pipeline and this storage tank this is a valve this tank is insulated as given in the question so i draw a control volume with the help of red pen or red dotted line with the help of this i draw a boundary so initially question says there is no mass this tank is initially evacuated means there is no mass in the tank so from here what we got is that initial mass in the control volume initial mass in the tank is zero right initially there is nothing in the tank now question says is initially evacuated is connected to a supplying pipeline carrying a fluid at some specific internal energy ui and specific enthalpy hi now this valve is opened we open this valve and this fluid will start flowing in this tank. This fluid will start flowing this tank, mass is coming inside the tank. Up to when this flow will work? When the pressure at this pipeline is equal to the pressure here. When the pressure of this pipeline equal to the pressure here, then this flow will work, will stop. So it is also mentioned in the question, the fluid starts flowing in the tank and reaches the pressure as same as that of pipeline right finally the pressure of this pipeline and pressure of this tank will be same it is given we have to show that your final specific internal energy of this tank is equal to your specific enthalpy of the fluid which is in the pipeline that is hi this for this numerical we have to solve right as we know this is a unsteady state how unsteady state mass is going in the system initially there is no mass and now mass is coming inside the system and mass will get accumulated so the mass will change with respect to time inside this tank inside this tank your mass will change with respect to time 
just remember one thing if i take this complete system as a control volume suppose this complete system as a control volume then we can say that it is a steady state because now the mass of this control complete control volume will not change with respect to time but we are taking the control volume only tank it is very important to mark the system which system you want to study i want to study this tank only so the tank is my control volume so with respect to time when this valve is open fluid will start in flowing inside the tank mass will start changing mass will start increasing here so this is a unsteady state and we know how to flow how to go for unsteady state formula first one we now the first equation which we are using in unsteady state flow is your conservation of mass right conservation of mass what this conservation of mass says conservation of mass says is rate of change of mass of a control volume is equal to mass flow rate which is in which is entering into the system minus mass flow rate out right we know this equation dm by dt of a control volume is equal to m dot in minus m dot out so if we are analyzing this tank so there is always a case when the fluid is entering into the system here initially there is no mass when this valve is open fluid will start entering into this when the pressure of this pipeline and this tank will be same there is no flow after that so we are saying from this tank there is no mass exit mass out from this tank is zero right there is no other way there is no other area or passage from where this mass will go out so mass out from this tank will be or from this control volume will be zero only mass is entering into the system mass will not go out so if that m dot out is zero so we can simply write dm by dt of a control volume is equal to m dot in the mass which is coming inside the system right suppose this is our equation one i am writing this as my equation one second is second equation which we are using in our unsteady state is your conservation of energy right conservation of energy what this conservation of energy says it says d by dt of a control volume rate of change of energy for a control volume is equal to d by dt of your e dot 1 energy inlet minus d by dt into energy outlet right we know this so this will be equal to if i am saying there is in this question there is no kinetic energy there is no mentioning about height or z1 so we are in this what we are doing is we are neglecting neglecting changes in kinetic energy and changes in potential energy right because in this question the velocity values or the height values is not given so we are simply neglecting right otherwise this question will stop here only because we don't know the height of this tank or the height of this pipeline so we are simply neglecting the equation the changes in kinetic energy and changes in potential energy we are neglecting so if this this is the case so i can write d by dt of a control volume as du by dt of a control volume is equal to e dot 1 s m dot h1 plus m dot v1 square by 2 cancel or you can say just write it m dot 1 1 v1 square by 2 plus m dot gz1 plus q m dot 1 this is d by dt of e1 minus d by dt of e2 is m dot 2 h2 plus 
एम डॉट टू वी टू स्क्वेयर बाय टू प्लस एम डॉट टू जी जेड टू प्लस वर्क डन बाय कंट्रोल वॉल्यूम राइट प्लस वर्क डन बाय कंट्रोल वॉल्यूम दिस इज द रेट वी आर टेकिंग रेट सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग डी बाय डी टी और इंस्टेड ऑफ डी बाय डी टी आई एम पुटिंग एम डॉट एम डॉट एंड क्यू डॉट एंड डब्ल्यू सी वी डॉट राइट सो दिस इज द डी बाय डी टी ऑफ ए कंट्रोल वॉल्यूम नाउ फ्रॉम अवर एजम्शन वी आर नेग्लेक्टिंग चेंजेस इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी राइट चेंजेस इन काइनेटिक एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी आई एम नेग्लेक्टिंग देर इज टैंक इज इंसुलेटेड सो क्यू डॉट इज जीरो राइट टैंक इज इंसुलेटेड सो क्यू डॉट इज जीरो एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इन दिस डायग्राम इट इज मैंशन इट इज सीन दैट देर इज नो वर्क ट्रांसफर वर्क ट्रांसफर इज नॉट देयर ओनली फ्लूड इज एंटरिंग इन टू द टैंक फ्लूड इज एंटरिंग इन टू द टैंक देर इज नो वर्क डन ऑन द सिस्टम एंड देर इज नो वर्क डन बाय द सिस्टम इट इज नॉट मैंशन इन द क्वेश्चन सो वी आर टेकिंग दिस डब्ल्यू सी वी इज जीरो फ्रॉम हेयर वी बट वी कैन राइट इज डी यू बाय डी टी ऑफ ए कंट्रोल वॉल्यूम इज इक्वल टू हेयर वट लेफ्ट इज एम डॉट इनलेट एच वन एच वन इज एच वन इज यूर एंथेल्पी एट इनलेट सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग एम डॉट एच इनलेट एच इनलेट माइनस हेयर वट लेफ्ट इज एम डॉट टू एम डॉट टू इज एम डॉट आउट एग्जिट इन टू एच आउट right into enthalpy out which goes out of the system we knows that that m dot out of the system is zero there is no mass going out of the system so i am taking this m dot out as zero so what left here is here left is du by dt of a control volume is equal to m dot in or m dot inlet into h inlet into h inlet right now what ki what we can write here is du by dt is your final final internal energy of a control volume minus initial internal energy of a control volume divided by dt is equal to this is d by dt of final energy minus initial energy right i am just simplifying this du du is this is u final minus u initial upon dt m dot inlet what is m dot inlet from our equation 1 m dot inlet is dm by dt of a control volume right dm by dt of a control volume this is equal to dm by dt of a control volume into h inlet into h inlet now i am simplifying it this is what we can write this is internal energy right in in case of your specific internal energy what we can write this is equal to final mass of control volume into specific internal energy of a control volume finally final specific internal energy minus initial mass of control volume into initial specific energy right internal energy we can write in form of your specific internal energy at initial and final upon dt is equal to dm by dt means dm is change of mass of a control volume which is equal to final mass of a control volume minus initial mass of a control volume divided by dt and multiply by h inlet multiply by h inlet so we can just simplifying the equations no need to remember any any equation in this steady flow energy chapter just we are going with the help of basic conservation of mass and conservation of energy only initial mass of the control volume is zero 
as we know through the question that initially the tank is evacuated so the initial mass of the control volume is zero so from here what we can write is this dt and dt will cancel out that m dot final into specific internal energy final of control volume is equal to here what left is m dot final into specific enthalpy at inlet into specific enthalpy at inlet this is 1 and 2 is for inlet outlet that's why i am writing final initial inlet outlet so that you will not be confused right so from here what we can write is m final m final cancel out so we can write final specific inter internal energy of a control volume is equal to inlet internal energy is h inlet enthalpy is hi as given in the question will be equal to h i will be equal to h i so this we have to prove so we can prove it like that right now we can go one step ahead of this suppose if it is given in the question that the fluid in this pipeline is a ideal gas suppose it is given that fluid is a ideal gas so for ideal gas what we know is for ideal gas internal energy can be written as cv specific heat at constant volume into your final temperature of control volume into final temperature of control volume right du is equal to cv dt dh is equal to cp dt you, we know this for an ideal gas so for ideal gas internal energy can be written as cv into final temperature because this is final specific internal energy is equal to this is your inlet so h h is equal to cp specific heat at constant pressure into initial or inlet temperature right t this is inlet enthalpy inlet enthalpy so temperature will be inlet temperature so we can write from here cp by cv is gamma that final temperature of a control volume is equal to gamma times inlet temperature gamma times inlet temperature and once so this this is the second result that a final temperature in the tank is gamma times the inlet temperature in this pipeline and we know that one more thing we know that gamma is greater than 1 right gamma is greater than 1 it means that final temperature is greater than inlet temperature final temperature is greater than inlet temperature what it means that suppose here temperature is 100 degree celsius suppose here temperature is 100 degree celsius when you open this valve tank is insulated initially there is no gas here right so when the fluid is coming through this valve in this tank the temperature in this tank suppose will increase to 150 degrees celsius right automatically this temperature will start increasing will increase from 100 to 150 let us say if the gas is an ideal gas if the gas is not ideal gas we cannot say that temperature is increasing for the ideal gas because gamma is greater than 1 we can write the final temperature in the tank will be more than the your inlet temperature that is 100 degrees celsius for an ideal gas so temperature will increase so this is the question where we have to go from step to step conservation of mass conservation of energy so we are right just solving our concept right